to start a conversation. First of all, try to grab, try to catch any connection point. Right? See, in the train, what is the common thing? They are traveling, you are also traveling. Yes. That is the common thing, that journey is that common thing. Mm. Uh, hello, ma'am, good morning, good afternoon. Uh, okay. Where are you going, ma'am? Are you going to Japan? People think that I have to impress that person. How can I start? They think a lot in their mind, like the way, the method, the methodology, but they are not able to say. Adapt yourself, adapt yourself, adapt yourself, and change and transform yourself, flexibilize yourself, and transform yourself completely. That is the best method to engage with every kind of audience. You may be a great communicator. Maybe you have a great great degree and great communicator. We cannot be great communicator everywhere. We cannot be a great conversationalist everywhere. For to be a great conversationalist everywhere, you have to know. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all of you. Today, I am here to talk about a very special thing. Today, we will be talking about how to start your conversation, how to impress someone, how to make your conversation effective, how to do conversation with enthusiasm, these things i have so many questions multiple questions in my mind and today i will ask this question to mr abdullah sir so please wait and watch what are the questions let's start good afternoon good afternoon sir good afternoon good afternoon <laughs> how are you i am fine how are you doing i'm fine too thank you okay sir so i have so many questions to be related to how to start your conversation how to make your conversation effective, okay. how to impress someone. So first of all, sir, please tell me how to start your conversation. That's right. Uh, definitely, I just like to comment and like to appreciate this question because this question is quite interesting. Mm -hmm. As, uh, as we know that uh, multiple times what happens with us like uh, we cannot approach the person we want to approach the pers a person we got, want to give the proposal to somebody but the problem is that how to start the conversation yes like as the moment you came to me and said good afternoon sir and I would like to ask you that how to start the conversation even this one sentence to ask it people feel so much complications yes and people start thinking my god how to approach that person for example I, I would like to give you an example that if you're traveling in the train if somebody's there that you want to ask a glass of a bottle of water from that person even you will start thinking excuse me what will he think what will she think actually they don't think anything you think yeah, absolutely <laughs> ah, understand like they don't think anything you think so that's why you don't think if they don't think <laughs> <laughs> that is the thing i would like to say that yes so don't think or think otherwise what will they think <laughs> so to start a conversation first of all try to grab or try to catch any connecting point right see in the train what is common thing they are traveling, you are also traveling. Yes. That is a common thing, that journey is that common thing. Hmm. Uh, hello ma'am, good morning, good afternoon. Uh, okay. Where are you going ma'am? Uh, you going to Japan? I said, train to Japan, nahi jati, yes. you are going uh, Bihar? Ach, oh, oh, I am also going Bihar. So this is the connecting point that you can connect. Yes. I said ma'am, Bihar mein kaha? In Bihar, where are you going actually? Darbhanga? Oh my god! I am also going Darbhanga! Oh. Wow, ma'am! Darbhanga me ka? I am going to this village. Come. Arre! <laughs> like, <laughs> you get so much excited. After that, you say the same thing. Oh my god, I am also going to the same village. Yes. It means that you, what you found, you find or you found one of the connecting points. And always start with actually impartial sentence. Never try to start with that arguing way. Hmm. Never try to start with negative attitude. Never try to approach any person like you know everything. You start with a calm mind, calm body and calm behavior in nature. That is what the best way to start the hmm. conversation. I would like to say. Yes. But some of the time what happens when we start the conversation, we try our best, we give our 100% to impress that person. But that person is not taking interest in ourselves. Actually, the moment you try to impress somebody, you can't impress. What you need to do, you need to give your deeds. You need to do your task and that's it. Don't try to impress anybody. For example, if you're doing sabab for Jannat, you will not get that Jannat. You do the sabab, come back, neki kar darya mein So if you are doing good deeds, you just forget about it. If you're trying to talk and approach somebody, don't try to impress the person. Do your work, start conversation without any extra expectation and do that, that's it. And if you just uh, think that, oh my God, I'm doing this task, and that should be the result of this. I just want this thing apart from this. I just want this in place of this. That's kind of you're doing business and you're showing your selfish attitude. And you must not do that. That's yeah. not a good thing to start the conversation. Yeah, absolutely right. 
बट सम ऑफ द टाइम द पीपल थिंक दैट I have to impress that person. How can I start? They think a lot in their mind, like the way, the method, the methodology. But they are not able to satisfy with that way to how to impress that person. They are not trying to do that. Only they are thinking in their mind, and they are just, oh my God, how, how, how. But at the time of impressing someone. They just actually, so the uh, see the point actually right in conversation especially what happens like convert APJ Abdul Kalam said one of the biggest line that I uh, read last night of APJ Abdul Kalam he said there are two methods of connecting somebody one is the conversation another is the communication hmm. conversation is a one way direction that you are saying something that is conversation you are saying something you say something go back you stop your conversation go back that is actually that has no good. that has no ultimatum goal mm. so what you need to understand you need to actually believe and trust in the communication and communication just encourages you to say and to give the authority to opposite person not mm. you are trying to impress that person but you give the opportunity to that opposite person to say what he or she wants to say absolutely right, right. just like for example you are asking me question and you are stopping yourself and you giving me the opportunity to speak something mm. what i want to speak and if i am letting myself speak and express my emotions and feelings so i'm getting so much satisfaction and i'm getting happiness and that's what the same person wants if you yes. give the opportunity to that person he or she will be happy and satisfied with you this is what the communication means and apj abdul kalam statement it is another thing is that find out the connecting connecting fillers connecting points like if i ask you hi shafak uh, good morning good morning sir uh, how are you i'm fine how about you i'm very good where are you from I'm from UP. Now th- this is UP is the connecting point. I am also from wow. wow. I am also from UP. So we P- UP which part? Azamgarh. Wow, wow, that's great. I am also from Azamgarh. So see, these are connecting point. Mm. Question pe question, question pe question, question pe question. But what we do? Hi, Safa. Good morning. How are you? I am fine. Okay, thank you. <laughs> like we stop. Mm, yes. Where are the connecting points? I'm asking right to all these speakers and uh, communicators. But in this world, people talk about themselves more. Ninety-nine percent always talk about me, my, mine, I. They are not giving opportunity that person who is sitting front of them. That is what I say. That Abhijit Bhuklam, what he said that yes. he didn't allow or he didn't encourage for conversation. Conversation is a one-way, one-way method. But what we need to implement, we need to implement arrow this side, arrow this side, arrow this side, arrow this side. If something is coming, something is going, something is going, let the same thing come back. Yes. Let the same thing come back. But what we are doing, we are just, you know, like <laughs> hey guys, this is the thing we have to understand. Okay, so I'll just give you the one example. Like mm. we are doing conversation. Mm. Maybe suppose that there is a lot of people. There are. <laughs> there are a lot of people and we are sitting among them <laughs> and we don't have the main point and then main method how to start our point how to say we use filler words like just when and we just getting confused how to represent ourselves front of them and they are doing well but we are losing ourselves how to remove this kind of problem See, this us. is the problem that you first of all are not adaptive person Like yes. I would like to tell you that if somebody is a motivational speaker, the moment he goes to a funny party, he will get silent himself. I am a motivational yes. speaker. I am a motivational speaker. A teacher is there, so if he is a teacher, that he goes to any kind of entertaining party or dancing party, he keeps himself silent and he observes and he is like, "Ki mai kahan aa gaya? Nee gaon mein boot aa gaya? Something like that." So I just want to say that you make your personality that like that flexible personality, and we are conversing about uh, funny moments. Let's discuss. If you want to just go for uh, you know uh, serious talks, be serious. Adapt yourself. Adapt yourself. Adapt yourself, and change and transform yourself. Flexibilize yourself and transform yourself completely. That is the best method to engage with every kind of audience. You may be a great communicator. Maybe you have a great prayer degree and great communicator, but you cannot be great communicator everywhere. You cannot yes. be a great com- conversationalist everywhere. For to be a great conversationalist everywhere, you have to know everywhere point, everything, every point, everybody. That is what you need to implement in yourself for getting great conversation. Wow, that's great. That's nice answer. Everyone should follow it. Yeah. So I'll just ask you. 
at the time of sh- showing ourselves everywhere mm. like what we have our habit we show everywhere mm. like mm-hmm. we are doing we are eating food in our home as we are eating dal chawal and everything mm-hmm. and we go in a hotel and we are just doing these things <laughs> in a hotel so it's not good for us exactly people are looking us oh my god this kind of people is sitting in front of us mm. and how is doing what is happening with him mm. so we should avoid it but people are not reminding that ki what where i am mm. what should i do mm. but they are mm. not still they are doing that thing no i still they are doing that actually the you see the point is that like one thing is that i don't care yes that they have the mindset that i don't care oh he is thinking something i don't care she is thinking something i don't care so this mindset of that i don't care this is called like something makes you unsocial yes it is possible and realistic and it makes you an interpersonal so what you need to do you need to generate a positive attitude and a positive habit in you mm. if i am making some mistakes if somebody is actually guiding me telling me something what i need to do i need to just accept it implement and improve myself that may be a bad habit in the hotel you are eating on the thali yeah that's okay at home not a bad thing it's indian culture yeah. it's our village culture gifted by our parents that's not a bad thing yes. but the moment you go to five star hotel you just change yourself you speak bhojpuri maybe in your village <laughs> kare kaha jati like something yes. you speak something like that the moment you go to city or hotel you somewhere yes please yes kaha ja rahe hain i used to that is what change yourself according to circumstance but in this world people don't have the adaptability power hmm. like in which situation we are we should adapt that situation exactly, but exactly. we are ignoring it we say i don't care what is happening in front of me hmm, hmm, hmm. so they don't want to adapt this thing hmm. that, that, that's what i'm just saying right uh, or like if people don't adapt themselves or people don't adapt anything what will they learn i just want to have us i just want to ask this question exactly right uh, so like ignorance is bully sometimes but it is always not bullies if you ignore something cannot learn like you know in childhood what was our mindset that okay she's educated or he's educated or that girl is educated i don't mind yeah. i ignore that person but the moment we grew ourselves and developed our mentality we came to realize that oh my god it's very important if un- until and unless we educate ourselves we can't actually know the taste of the world yeah we can't know the taste of the society we can't know about us even mm-hmm. that's why we need to and we changed and we need to change absolutely yes what they should they ignore they don't exactly what they should not they ignore that that is what yes so how to adapt ourselves in every situation my question is well, that's a very nice question that's why you started a great question the first question was that how to start a conversation so i'd like to come to the main point that mm. if you want to adapt yourself the first of all is start doing conversation with every kind of person The moment you go to South India, you go to Thailand, you go to <laughs> Bangkok, you go to Hyderabad, you go to Bihar, you go to Jharkhand, you go to Madhya Pradesh, you go to Odisha, you go to Uttar Pradesh, you come to Delhi, you go to Maharashtra, Mumbai, you go to Rajasthan, you go to Assam, you go to Odia, you go to Bengal, you go all these states and different states, different regions. What do you find? You need to start a conversation. You need to know about their cultures, their traditions, their behavior, their nature, their mindset, their languages. If you know that, you can adapt yourself. But what happens with us like we have a fixed mindset yeah we have a fixed mindset this is my mindset this is my thinking no i don't want anything okay just i don't want anything hmm. you are for example i just would like to give you an example like earlier we used to use nokia garas all right yes then the moment changed that we got uh, some kind of uh, classic phone chhatar das phone right we got some other phones after that we got android phones now we have apple iphone apple max iPhone. pro yes one plus changes are there or not yeah we have changed ourselves or not we. phones are changed or not of course why don't you change yourself why don't they change themselves mm. why don't they adapt themselves they need to do of course but most of the time what happen like if i come first time in this institute mm. i talk to you mm. i feel comfortable with you mm. and every day i come in this coaching and every day only i talk with you mm. and no one mm. i just ignoring everyone mm. because i feel comfortable i go in a comfort zone 
See, that is what you need to understand. Like, a person will kill you, right? Yes. For example, if, if somebody is there living in village and he comes or she comes to a city, why he or she comes to a city? He or she leaves her comfort zone and his comfort zone. Why? Because she wa or he wants to achieve something, do something, uh, do something of peace in his or her life. We go foreign, we just go other countries, other states to just brush up our skills and to just check our ability. Why? Because we actually leave our comfort zone. Even after coming to this big city and to upgrade yourself, you just catch a person and you fix your mindset with that person and start doing conversation with that fixed person every day is it profitable do you think no, of it's not profitable not. that's why we started that approach everybody approach to propose propose to achieve and great information gives us great destination yes. and great devotion determination direction and dedication gives us great dedication on destination that is what i say that if you want to find a good destination of course approach everybody yes yes but we have the limited thought in our mind and we just we don't want to come out from that thought like if i think i am just comfortable with you i am comfortable i will not go anybody mm. If I am, I just want to only learn these subjects. I will learn. I will not try to learn other mm -hmm. because I am comfortable with it. Mm -hmm. Hindi. Mm -hmm. Oh, how is English? How can I speak? No, mm -hmm. I can't. I can't. I can't. Because we, we are not believing ourselves. That's why it is happening with us. Mm -hmm. So, what would you like to say on that thing? We should come out from that thought, that mentality, or not? See, every new thing is tough. Yeah. If I say to you one thing, like you have to fly the plane, will you fly? I can't fly. I can't. The moment you only say it, and you will say that, hey, what the hell you are talking about? <laughs> that? Yes. Do I look like a pilot that I'm going to fly the plane? Yeah. No, you can't do that. But your attitude. Because someone said that your thought becomes your attitude, your attitude becomes your life. Zindagi banani hai to attitude ko change karo. Achhe, to fly the plane, yes I can fly but first of all I will learn. Yes. Uda to lunga, lekin sabse pehle sikhunga api baje. To point is there, point, right, point is there ki your attitude allows you ki yes I will do it but first of all I will learn it. But there is two types of attitude there are there are sorry for that yes. thank you so much welcome there are two types of attitude mm. which we have positive attitude mm. and we have negative attitude mm. people doesn't want to learn people any don't oh sorry thank <laughs> you people don't want to learn new thing mm. because they're in ego mm. attitude mm. i know everything mm. i will not learn from you mm. and there is other kind of attitude mm. yes please tell me i want to learn it mm. So it is a positive attitude hmm. and it's negative. Hmm. So people should change their attitude. Exactly right. So, but they're not. They're not. That's why I said that in starting I said that they have a fixed mindset. They don't respect others. They don't want to see others successful, right? If they are just learning something, they're getting something, they must. They must. If you are speaking good things, they must learn from you. If I'm speaking good things, they must learn from, uh, learn from me. If they are speaking something good, we must learn from them. Yeah. We can do it. This is Mahasagar. Yes. And in Mahasagar, there are many machliyas. And if you are getting any machli, we should get it. Wow, what a machli. Yes. What a knowledge, what a information. Okay, so let's come to the main point. Yeah. I want to ask you how to remove these problems. At the time of the speaking, people use filler words mm -hmm. as I asked you mm -hmm. in a mm -hmm. starting time. Mm -hmm. So just tell me how to remove and how to improve our conversation, our English, and how to make our English fluently, how to speak fluently, and just tell me how to remove. First of all, as you said that, yes, there are two types of people. One is thinking, one is positive. Yeah. Positive man always says that, yes, I'm ready to learn. Mm. That's what I said that change your attitude if you want to change your life. Yeah. Change your attitude if you want to change your life. Change your attitude to learn everything, right? Because language is not an easy task, but it is easy. If you change your attitude, if you want to learn language, you can master the language and master your communication. So you learn it. You learn it, you learn it, and also keep more and more extra knowledge in your mind. Right? Upgrade yourself. Learn from every situation. Upskill yourself. Upskill mm. yourself. Practice, 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 because practice makes man perfect. Mm. And try to always find the best way, the best situation to start the conversation. Always 
speak upon the stage, do conversation with others, and always make up mode of the practice, make a zone yes. of the practice. Yes. So why it happens? Like mm -hmm. at the time of speaking, people are using filler words. Why it is happening with themselves? It is happening because, you know, they're not master of uh, communication. Like the moment they go somewhere, the mind goes somewhere. Like they are, like I'm also using, like you are also using like, like, yeah. like. These are all also filler words that we should not use. But sometimes we use because we forget that this next line that what yes. we need to speak actually, right? Right. And right is also a filler. Right? <laughs> Even I want to tell you that. Yes. So it means we are also making mistakes, but in very, in very, actually, we can say that, uh, uh, you know, uh, as uh, we can say, now, now I'm forgetting. See, yeah, now I'm yeah. forgetting. Now I'm trying to take the help of the filler words. What will I speak? What will I speak? So it happens in very moderate case. It happens mm -hmm. in very rare case. So what we need to understand to actually upgrade our communication skills, we need to master the words. We need to master the technique of the speaking. We need to master the communication skills. We need to master our uh, language actually. And we need to also we also need to practice and speak again and again so that we can know the exact technique of speaking. Right, this is yes. the thing we need to implement. That's very nice. So now people will learn, people will follow it, yeah. and people will remove this problem from themselves. Yeah. So thank you so much, sir, thank for so these much. question and answer. And that was discussion about these things. And thank you so much for watching us, watchful and just learn from it here. Thank you so much.